Been talking about this after weeks of threats, North Korea could be ready to launch a missile today. A top South Korean official saying a missile test fire is imminent. U.S. intelligence believes the North has completed preps for that missile test, and there are fears it may come as early as today. Cliff May is president of the Foundation of Defensive Democracy. He joins us right now. Cliff, we've been through uh, with uh, perilous times in North Korea already. What's different about this? Not a lot. The, uh, the rhetoric has been ratcheting up. Of course, the technology has been ratcheting up as well. And the other thing is you've now got Kim Jong-un, who is the third in the dynastic line that goes back to the uh, Korean War, his father and his grandfather. He's a young guy. He's 29 years old. He's the new dictator. He does want to show what he's made of. He wants to show that he can make fools out of Americans and South Koreans and Japanese, just as his, uh, his father and his grandfather did. So there's some real danger here. Plus, when you think a little bit about uh, Cliff, the standing in the United States uh, over the last couple of years, our standing has kind of gone down worldwide on the world stage. Now it's his big chance to try something stupid, isn't it? Yeah, and I think he may want to do that. Um, don't forget, in 2010, what his father did was to hit a South Korean ship and kill 46 sailors. He also shelled an island, a fishing village on an island, killed four people. Basically, paid no price for it. He likes to show that he can do terrible things and that not only doesn't he pay a price for it, but that he can get rewards for this kind of thing. He's been making fools of American presidents, or this dynasty has, going back a long time. They say, give me this, give me that. And then they give promises that they don't fulfill, what? and the result is they have nuclear weapons and they have missiles, and both are getting better. And they're proliferating that technology around the world, not least to Iran, their longtime nuclear partner. Sure. So, Cliff, what do you make of the fact that there may have been talks going on all along? I mean, obviously, the United States is not just sitting there silent. We would expect that, but, but what do you think's going on? Well, when you talk to the North Koreans, it's it, it's pretty difficult because they make their demand. I, we, I, we don't know exactly, but the, but we, they make their demands. They promise various things they don't intend to to fulfill, and nothing really gets done that's very useful. And we have to recognize that we haven't been successful here for a very long time with the North Koreans. And I think it's time for various things to happen. The, Ch the Chinese need to understand this is, this is your baby. You take care of it. We're giving no aid and no trade. And the Europeans need to cut that off as well. And the South Koreans need to, I think, give up on the idea of trading and, 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 and aiding North Korea. Now, that's going to be very rough. But this, re but this regime, really, we should want this regime to fall finally. It is sure. among the most oppressive regimes in the entire world. Something like 200,000 North Koreans are living in concentration camps. Mm -hmm. The population, a big portion, is chronically malnourished. Most people don't even have electricity. They can't even turn on a light. It's a very bad mm -hmm. situation. And again, it's not just this ankle-biter regime in North yeah. Korea. They have been partners with the Iranians. They shipped a gotcha, nuclear clear. power. And, and the main thing is today, though, Syria. and the main so, thing is today is Iraq. They could be their action, uh, sending off a rocket. It seems like everything's in place for some type of action today. And our response is what everyone's uh, thinking about. Cliff, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.